I'm here at Broward Health North to meet Dr. Landau and talk about the importance of prevention and recovery when it comes to heart attacks. This is Dr. Landau, interventional cardiologist here at Broward Health, and we have a heart in front of us today because we're talking about heart attacks. So what happens in a heart attack? So in a typical heart attack, one of these coronary arteries mm -hmm. will have a cholesterol plaque which will rupture. Blood flow beyond that point will be stopped and the heart will go into a heart attack mode. The patient may have chest pain, diaphoresis, which is sweating, radiation of symptoms down the arm, and the pain is usually a crushing or dull sensation, often similar to indigestion, but worse. And we're gonna to talk to one of your patients, Jeff, later on. What right. happened in his case? We have a patient who had risk factors for heart disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. He's not overweight, he doesn't smoke, mm -hmm. he exercises. He had a cardiac arrest on the treadmill in a gym and he was given bystander CPR mm -hmm. by his girlfriend. And it just goes to show that bystander CPR does work. All three of the major arteries that supply his heart muscle had severe blockages of 80 to 100%. Wow. He underwent bypass surgery and made a great recovery, was home within a week or so. That's incredible. And that goes to show that here at Broward Health you guys really look at everything and before you just rush into uh, a treatment from what looks like it might be the obvious, you really look at uh, the whole picture to get the best possible outcome for the patient. That's correct. I think as a result of the, the rapid response and uh, the great care that I got here has resulted in me feeling basically pretty normal now and I'm seven weeks out from uh, having had pretty bad heart attack. The care here at Broward Health has been outstanding. The support that I got from uh, especially the nurses and the, the cardiac critical care unit here was spectacular. What can people do to prevent having a heart attack in the first place? The main thing is to know what your risk factors are that predispose you to a heart attack and then take care of those risk factors. You should always leave the doctor's office with a take home message and a plan saying, I need to do this better, or I'm okay here. Right. I think once you do those things, you're fine. Right. It's not about just getting measured. It's about having a plan after the fact to improve on those measurements. Correct. Right. All right. Well, Dr. Landau, thank you so much for spending some time with us here today and talking about a very serious subject, which is heart attacks. But it makes it a lot easier when you have an expert like Dr. Landau here at Broward Health.